Hi everyone, I'm Robert Moody with the Portland Symphony Orchestra and welcome to Online Insights and welcome to Merrill Auditorium. As you see, we are in the balcony right now of Merrill Auditorium. I hope folks realize what a treasure we have in Portland in this auditorium. This is one of the finest acoustics anywhere in the country and we are so proud that it is our performing home for our Portland Symphony Orchestra. I'm sitting in the balcony, actually right near the very top, one of the last rows, and I wanted to encourage you to consider checking out this part of the hall once or twice when you come to a concert. So the next time you're looking at ticket purchase options, don't shy away from the balcony. You get a grand sweep of the stage, a really beautiful vision of the entire orchestra, and most importantly, some of the best acoustics in the house. On April 9th, this hall will be filled and the orchestra will be on stage as we perform works of three phenomenal composers and a great journey. And this definitely is a little bit of a play on the enigma, wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a mystery type of concert. I was thinking about that when I programmed the concert. The largest work that you will hear will be the final work on the concert, Elgar's Enigma Variations. Edward Elgar, arguably the greatest British composer of all time, certainly of the Romantic period, wrote this work, a wonderful theme, and then a series of variations on that theme. It's called the Enigma Variations because instead of giving great descriptions to each variation or letting anyone know really why he wrote the variation, he just put initials. And for years and years, no one really knew what the initials stood for. Turns out the initials with each variation stand for friends of Elgar's. One is even a reference to his beloved dog. And of course, the most beautiful and romantic one, the initials are the initials of his wife. It's a really powerful piece and uh, one of those that you don't want to miss in live performance. We're starting the concert with Alan Hovannis' Symphony No. 2. It is also called Mysterious Mountain. Alan Havanis is a great American composer. He lived throughout the entirety, just about, of the 20th century. He enjoyed writing well into a ripe old age. His compositions happened mostly where he was living in the Pacific Northwest. Um, he lived in Seattle, Washington. He spent a great deal of time in both Washington State and Oregon. So when you hear this title, Mysterious Mountain, you might want to think about Mount Hood, Mount Rainier, these great mountains in that part of the country. Right after the Havanas, you'll hear Samuel Barber's Piano Concerto performed by Martin Perry. Martin Perry is a tremendous pianist, a great colleague and friend. He happens to live right here in Maine, but he enjoys a national and international career as solo pianist, chamber musician, collaborative pianist. You won't want to miss hearing Marty Perry play. Such a great mature and deeply felt musician. He's going to play the Barber Piano Concerto and as I'm in the balcony it crossed my mind to mention to you about where you might want to sit to see a piano concerto. If you haven't been to concerts before um, you might notice that it, the concert hall seems to have most of the people pushing towards the left side of the hall for that concert. There's a feeling, there's a belief that the best experience for a piano concerto is to sit on the side of the audience so that you can see the pianist's hands. And that's certainly quite exciting, so I would encourage that. But I will tell you that the seats to the right of the audience are just as exciting because if you're sitting on this right side of the audience, you get something they don't get on the left. You get the pianist's facial expressions, and that really is quite powerful. And if you are here in the balcony and you look closely, you can even see inside the piano and see the hammers striking the strings. So there are great advantages to being in any portion of this wonderful Merrill Auditorium when you hear this work. All the works in this concert, Hovannis, Barber, Elgar. So it's going to be a tremendous concert in April. Two great American composers, a phenomenal British composer, all right here in this glorious Merrill Auditorium. See you at the concert.